What is happening? Welcome to Edge Mindset. Carter here. Got another video for you. We are going to be determining the lethality difference between a double action and single action OTF. Just kidding. No lethality here. But I do want to see how far each one will penetrate this apple here. Because I feel like this is a reasonable uh, facsimile or uh, representation of human skin, maybe? I don't know. At least close enough that it gives you an idea of kind of what you're looking at in terms of penetration depth. That sounds terrible. Uh, how far will this thing penetrate? So to do that, we've got a double action right here. You can see you, you slide up the button, slide up the trigger, whatever you want to call it, the switch. Blade shoots out. Pull it back. It retracts. Bada boom, bada bing. Next up, we've got the single action right here. You press the button. It shoots out, but in order to retract it, you have to press the button, pull back the tab, manually reset the blade, clicks into place, and then it's ready to go again. So you may be saying, why do we care about the difference between these two? That's because this single action fires a whole heck of a lot harder than the double action. And the reason for that is that the spring tension, so, and I've mentioned this before, I find it fascinating, and in context of this video, I'm going to explain mechanically the difference between the double action and the single action, just kind of high level, so that everybody knows what we're talking about, and then we're gonna do the penetration test. I'm sorry, maybe I should do that first, but I'm gonna talk about this first. So, for the most part, the blade that's sitting inside here is at rest when it's in this position, and it's also at rest when it's in this position. What gives it the spring tension to come out and you know, come out and come back in is you sliding this button. So when you slide this button down, which is why it's difficult to do that, this is what's stretching the springs. And right when you hit this kind of wall is when it hits the gate that's keeping it open. Once you hit this, the gate moves out of the way and then the springs pull it back. Same thing, I'm trying not to cut myself here. Same thing when you open it. This is what's giving the blade spring tension, is when I slide this up, hits the gate, opens the gate, blade comes out. The single action, right now this is under spring tension. It's under quite a bit of spring tension, which is why these are generally more dangerous, especially something like this. That's why this does not have a pocket clip. It's meant to be kept in a sheath so that this button is not accidentally depressed because if this was in your pocket and you hit that button, this thing is coming out and it's coming out hard. When you pull this back, you are applying all that spring tension, locking it in the closed position and it is ready to fire. So why did I choose these two? Well, because I don't care about messing them up. And also they have reasonably similar tips. I mean, not the exact same, but they both have pretty pointy tips. The blade stock is comparable, the double action's a little bit thinner, but you know, it is what it is. Um, they're close enough for some fun. This is not a scientific video per se, uh, but these two are reasonably similar and I think it will give us an idea. Uh, but before we start, now I think it's pretty obvious that this is gonna be much worse, but Let's bet down below how deep do you think this is gonna go in the apple compared to this? Write in the comments how deep you think it's gonna go. Quarter inch, half inch, three quarters, full inch, and what about this one? How deep do you think that's gonna go? Leave those comments right now. I wanna compare it to what the actual results are. I'm gonna do my best to kind of get a measurement. Like I said, I'm not being super scientific here, just uh, doing this for fun. So, uh, let's see, let's start with the Trying to make sure I got everything in frame here. You can see it. Let's start with the double action. Um, maybe what we'll do is a few different tests. I'll do one super close and then one kind of farther away. And then I'll just try to eyeball it and make it the same for both. So up close. Okay, what do we got there? Not the best angle. Wow, that actually penetrated a little bit deeper than I thought it would. I gotta make sure to be extra careful on this video, so like three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch on the double action. Let's try it, um, and it, you'll also notice that it came off track when it hit that resistance, or maybe you didn't notice, but it did. Let's try it a little further back now, and I'm gonna try 
slightly different angle. So, seems to be about the same, I think. Actually, a little bit less, so more like just over half an inch when it's further away. Let's do one more, kind of closer again at the same type angle. Yes, so, may seem obvious, but yeah, the closer you are, the more this is kind of going in. This looks to be, yeah, just over three quarters of an inch on the double action. That's actually more than I was expecting. Woo, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous on this guy. I wanna make sure, I gotta make sure I don't, I gotta make sure I don't like hurt myself here. So <laughs> let's try, let's try up close. No, we'll be good. We'll be, we'll be good. You know what, I don't think I need this. I'll just, we'll just do it right here, okay? Wow, that actually pushed my hand away. I don't know how good of an example that is. I think I absorbed some of that energy by not holding that apple good enough. So that may not be the good, best test. So we're looking at about an inch up close on that, which, sorry, I'm resetting this off camera here, which is actually a little surprising. I was thinking there would be more. So now I'm going to hold this a little bit stouter. And we are gonna, oh yeah. That went quite a bit deeper. So about an inch and an eighth. Now let's try, um, I'm also sorry, wiping down the blade off camera here because I don't want, don't want apple juice sticking up the action. Not that I care too much about these, I'm sure you know why. Uh, I don't want it sticking up the action. So here's the more dangerous one because we're gonna do a little farther away. Just wondering if on this one, more spring momentum would actually cause it to go deeper. It looks like that may be the case. Yeah, like an inch and a quarter. So let's try that again. So inch and a quarter. Interesting that the double action has more power up close, less further away, whereas this appears to be the opposite. Although when you really think about it, it kind of makes sense. I'm just worried is this too far away? I'm just worried I'm gonna miss. This is pretty far away. Whew. So this one isn't exactly fair because it actually locked all the way out right here. So I actually could not, yeah, I was too far away. So maybe that other attempt right before this one, maybe. Yeah, I did it again. I just did it again. It like pretty much locked all the way out. Let's try it one more time. It doesn't feel like I'm that far away, but. Woo. I think that might be the deepest one yet, guys. Maybe not. No, about an inch and a quarter. So, it's what I expected. Did you guys, um, did you guess correctly? So inch and a quarter, and I already forgot what the deepest on this was. What was it, three quarters of an inch? So about a half an inch more, is that right? Probably should have wrote it down. It's in the video, it's recorded for all history. So uh, the results were what I expected in terms of this having more penetration than this, but honestly, I thought it was gonna be a little more stark than that. I thought this was going to really get in there. I thought we would be like inch and a half, maybe two inches. So not as big of a difference as I was expecting, uh, but still for the most part, kind of what I was thinking. So there you have it. When you're talking about stabbing an apple with a double action or single action, now you know what to expect in terms of penetration. When these apples start coming at you all crazy and you're trying to defend yourself from them, go with the single action However, it's gonna take you longer to charge that next hit up, so maybe you should do the double action so that you can just pop, 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 go at it and just take those apples out. All right, guys, let me know down below, is this what you kind of expected in terms of apple penetration from these two, and how did your guesses fare in terms of uh, the actual depth that they would go in? All right, guys, I'm out of here. Take it easy. 
Thank you for watching and subscribing and liking. It really helps me and I appreciate it. Talk to you guys later.